Uh, today's lesson is going to be basically on setting up LPD services in Windows. LPD is Linux print daemon. Uh, it's a nice way to share printers that are connected to a PC to other PCs and servers on the network. Okay, the first thing we need to do is configure a static IP address. So what we want to do is you want to type in CMD in the search and then hit uh, IP config slash all. What this is going to do, and you need to copy this down, this is your IP address here. You need to copy that down, your subnet mask, and your default gateway. You also need to copy down your DNS servers because we're going to be configuring up this network interface so it has a static IP. A lot of these are DHCP uh, enabled, and we're going to be changing that. So once that's done, you can go ahead and close out your command prompt. Then you want to go to Start button, Control Panel, Network Sharing Center, Change Adapter Settings, right click and select, highlight the IPv4 if you're using that, and then select Properties. And you're going to change this, obtain an IP address automatically to use the following IP address. These things you copied down earlier, this is where your IP address will go your subnet mask and your default gateway. You also want to make sure that you're using the following DNS servers and these are the DNS servers that you copied down earlier they go right in here. Okay. And If you look at back up at what we had you'll find out that this all these match up with what we have on here. Okay so at that point there you just want to go ahead and click OK and then close. There'll be a momentary uh, pause but uh, after that um, you should be have a static IP and be up on the network. Okay, the next step is to actually set up our um, LPD services on the Windows server, and that's going to be come down here to the start control panel. And then you're going to have your uh, program files and features okay now I already opened this up to save a little bit of time on here so you have your program files and features okay next you're going to want to turn Windows features on or off okay and it might take a couple minutes but this is basically the, the screen it's going to come up so if we come down here to print and document services okay you all you can actually your L port monitor in Windows XP, it's all going to be stuck under the Unix uh, Unix print uh, daemon. Okay, so you just want to click on OK, and basically what that's going to do, that's going to install any of the features that we need here. Okay, once the features are installed, there's one more step that we need to do here, and it's called under Services. So go to Start, type in Services.msc under your search panel there. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to create this service here, LPD services in Windows 7. Um, Windows 8, uh, or I'm sorry, Windows XP might be something like um, um, print services for Unix, and that would be further down. But what we want to do is we want to make sure that this starts automatically. So you'd want to right click, select properties, start up type is automatic make sure that it's set to that this way if any time you restart your PC this printer uh, won't just disappear and you'll be tracking it down trying to figure out where it's going so this starts up automatically okay if the service is not started you want to start it and then all you want to do is click on OK and that's about it for setting up the Linux LPD service The next part we're going to do here is we're actually going to go ahead and set up the uh, Windows firewall so that we can accept inbound connections on port 515. So you want to go here to start, control panel, Windows firewall, advanced settings. Now we want to allow print jobs to come in. So you're going to click on inbound rules. If you don't see it down here, sometimes it's already configured up. 
for you okay like if we come down here LPD services if it's not configured up you can actually create a new rule okay and we're just gonna go over to port okay next TCP port is great specific specify local ports the port is 515 okay allow the connections and then you can apply this rule to all your firewalls here it, it's it's really not significant because you're going to be internal then this is the name you're going to give it so we might call this LP LPD uh, printer services and a description might be um, oops local LPD printer service and then you just click finish and it'll go ahead and create the rule for you here LPD printer services if you don't see it here you can just come up here um, you can actually click on like F5 and refresh and there's our new rule there okay to open up that port and that's going to allow everybody in and that's pretty much it for setting up the firewall okay the next part of our tutorial here is we're actually going to set up the printer alright so all you want to do is click on start devices and printers now what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be using the HP uh, PSC 1400 series. You want to right click on that, okay? Select printer properties, sharing, and you want to share this printer out as something that's meaningful, okay? So if you want to do that, uh, the share name, and please ensure that there are no spaces in the share name, okay? Uh, it does have problems with that and it may fail because there is uh, issues with that so we want to call our share name here HP underscore PSC underscore 1410 okay and you just click on apply okay and that's basically going to do it there you can come up here to security I like to give everyone permissions. This way anybody can get into this printer when it's once it's on the network. Okay. And then you just want to hit press OK. okay. And that is all there is to setting up the printer. Okay, this part of our tutorial is actually how to use that printer we just set up. Uh, with LPD services on the local PC. Um, basically, you're going to come to Start, Devices and Printers, and we're going to go ahead and add a new printer. Okay, you want to add a local printer, create a new port, standard TCP IP port. Next, now the host name or IP address, you're going to want to put in the IP address for the PC that we just set up LPD services on. So that would be, for our uh, example, 192.168.1.6. Uh, you can query the printer and automatically select drivers to use. I generally don't do that. It takes a little bit longer to do, uh, especially when you know what the drivers already are. Okay. So we're detecting the TCP IP port, okay? At this point here, if you'd like to do it, if you haven't done it already, you can actually come to a command prompt, which is start, and under, under the run prompt, you type in Charlie Mike Daniels CMD. Um, then we can just do a telnet 192.168.1.6. And then we're going to be up there on port 515 and connect. And we're able to connect all right here. So we're going to go ahead and break that off there. And then if you just want to try it out maybe uh, to see if another port, like we know we're on 515. So if we go to 516, you're going to get that. 
and if you're getting this on port 515 okay that could mean that the firewall is up so you're going to need to check the firewall on the PC hosting the printer that we just set up LPD services on but you're also going to have to check because a lot of corporations have uh, domain firewalls or network firewalls and that 515 port needs to be open there as well okay so now our additional port information we have custom settings this is the IP address to the printer select LPR for the queue name it's the share name the queue name is the share name of the printer so it'd be in our case it would be HP PSC underscore 1410 and LPR byte counting enabled okay the next then we come down here to the drivers you have HP and then we know this is the PSC 1400 series next if it prompts you to use the current drivers installed and there aren't any problems on the local PC then go ahead and do that it's going to use those drivers anyway so next this is where you can call it whatever you'd like um, uh, I can call it my or Mike's LPD printer then next it's going to install it you can share it if you want to you don't have to share it it's already up on the server okay so just print next um, you might not want to set it as a default printer unless it has to be so you want to unselect that if it's selected and then print a test page now the test page will go to the printer uh, you might be able to hear in the background where it's actually printing out for me here okay so then close and finish and there's the printer right there okay and that's all there is to it